Okay, picture this. A boxer can hit with a speed of more than 30 kilometers an hour. And that is in air. Moving fast in water is a lot harder because of the viscosity of the medium. But in the waters around Southeast Asia here lives an animal that can knock its prey cold with a speed more than twice that the speed of a pro boxer. It uses its front appendages to crush the shells of marine snails and crabs. It's called a mantis shrimp. And now you might ask, why is that important to us? Well, think about this. Can you imagine the toughness of those appendages if they manage to break through something as hard as a snail or a crab shell? There might be something we can learn from this. Well, that's exactly what scientists here at NTU were thinking. We are at the Institution for Biomimetics, where observations in nature are the source of inspiration to big research projects. The mantis shrimp is one of the organisms being studied here, and Dr. Ali Misires takes us on a tour to show us up close. But I'm not sure which study. They have this, this very fast appendage that will deploy at super high speed. And so people had studied it, and there have been some papers that showed how fast that thing is. But they hadn't looked at the materials itself. So we were interested in, okay, what is the materials design that allows uh, that, that structure to be so, uh, so strong and so damage tolerant? Now, if you take the different component of the club is made of, it's not really that strong. So mostly it's a calcium carbonate that you have in shell or mollusk. At the outside is a very highly crystalline calcium phosphate. It's the same you have in your bone. And there's also an organic component, kind of a soft materials. Uh, it's called chitin, which is a polysaccharide. It's very similar to cellulose that you see in plant walls. Okay? Yeah. But all these things are not that strong. No, I mean. if you take them separately, it's not remarkable. But what is unique, when it's assembled together, it makes a very unique composite structure, and the way this is uh, assembled by the organism is what makes it so strong in the end. So the thing that makes the mantis shrimp appendage so strong is not just the story of one molecular structure, but more how a few relatively common molecules are organized and layered together, giving the structure extraordinary properties. The specific layers are then not just stacked on top of each other like tiles, but they're also oriented in specific patterns to maximize its strength and toughness beyond that of the individual chemical components. The end result for the mantis shrimp is a much stronger shell that doesn't get crushed upon impact with its prey. And by copying the mantis shrimp example, we could be able to improve materials in, for example, prosthetic implants. Dr. Ali Misres also tells us that he used to work on similar composite materials. And then you see those guys doing this, and it's like, wow, they've done that for millions of years. I'm a lousy scientist, I'm gonna start studying them because they're actually a much better engineer than I am. <laughs> so over millions of years, nature sure has evolved some pretty fascinating solutions to all kinds of different problems. And just like the mantis shrimp example, there's likely many more out there that we can learn from. So the question is, can you think of any other ones?